In Dragon's Dogma 2, there are a lot of different vocation masters, and I'm going to quickly go over how you can get the mastery for the Archer class. This would require you to go through a very particular quest line while you have the Archer vocation equipped to yourself. So let's waste no more time, and let's get into it. To get this started, I do want to say that I did this when I was using the Archer Vocation and made it much more easy for me to go through this entire process very quickly in the early game. I don't know if this is required that you have to be the Archer in this situation or if your main pawn or a pawn on your team needs to be an Archer as well. I will say being the Archer yourself has made the process a lot easier to go through because there are a bunch of different trials that you have to use the bow in the Archer class to actually complete. Now with all that said, you need to get to Vernworth as you usually do with a lot of these early game quest lines and you have to go to a very particular location and look for Glindweir, or I'm probably going to be butchering his name, the elf that's going to be right in front of Roderick Smith right near the merchant quarter. You will see him sitting right in front of the shop that is going to be him looking at all the different bows that were on display when you first start this quest line. He'll be standing right where I'm standing right now. Strike up a conversation with him and you'll eventually get to the point where he is trying to use a human bow instead of an elven bow. You need to actually gift him a bow, whether it's from the shop right in front of you or a different bow in general that you've gotten along with your travels. He will then thank you for this gifted bow and tell you about how he's having a hard time shooting the arrows for some reason or another with his current bow and he wants you to meet him in the mountain ruins as I'm showing here to show off your bow and have him practice the human bow that you just gifted him. As you can see the actual location of these mountain ruins is not far at all. It's very easy to get to and the trial itself isn't very difficult. Once you get close to the ruins you'll actually see Glenn we are hanging out in this pond right next to some of these ruins and he'll ask ask you to start shooting your bow at the targets that are hanging right behind you. As you hit the targets, he will get some inspiration, start shooting the bow himself, and be inspired to continue his work to perfect his shot for an elven trial of archery, which you will help him with. After you have shot the targets at the mountain ruins, you'll have him disappear for a little bit, but you'll also be able to meet him back at Vernworth after a couple days. You'll talk to him again, or he'll come up to you. He came up to me in my playthrough, and he'll give you the trial of archery questline, which has you meet him back right next to the mountain ruins. From here, you'll simply need to find him right next to the campfire up one of the fallen logs. It's very easy to get to him, and he will guide you directly to the elven town, which you can find on your own if you really want to. I found this a little bit more fun because as part of the quest line. After traveling with him and fighting off a couple very easy monsters, you'll actually come across the Sacred Arbor or the Forest Home of the Elves as you see here. Beautiful place. I found it fantastic for archer and mage materials as well. There's a great shop. There's an inn. There's a whole bunch of stuff that you can't find anywhere else outside of the Elven Town. But I'll let you discover what you find in the Elven Town for yourself. Now, as you progress through this quest line, Glenn Weir is going to talk to the other elves in their native dialect and essentially just progress through the storyline of this, which I'll let you enjoy for yourself. But you do need to make sure you follow Glendweir to a very particular room for the trial of archery, though you start to notice that there's no one there and he starts to question it as well. Turns out something has occurred to his sister and now you, him, and your party need to go and rescue her from an ogre which is inside a different cave just a little north of the actual town of the elves. Thankfully as you progress through the dialogue of this particular section of this quest line they actually mark the location of this cave on the map and I'm going to let you go through the battle yourself but what you essentially need to do. Go to the cave, follow the instructions that were given to you by the elves and simply progress and save this particular girl. Again, I'm going to let you enjoy the actual fight itself and the rest of the storyline, but after you complete this particular section, defeat the ogre, you'll be able to have a final conversation with Glendweir and turns out his father, who is also the master of the archer class. Now, after the very long conversation you three have, Glendweir will actually say if you're passionate about using a bow and arrow, you should talk to his dad, which you should do immediately because they both start to immediately go in separate directions. Now, talking with Glendweir's father, the Master of Archery, has a bunch of different dialogue as well, how much he's thanking you for your help with Glendweir and his bowmanship. It gets down to the point where he thanks you by giving you a bunch of different items that are really, really strong as an archer, and has you meet him back in the town of the elves. From my screen for completing this quest line, you'll be able to see that you get 16k gold, a port crystal, and the repeller bow, all of which are obviously very useful in their own specific ways. Now, the bow itself is probably one of the best bows you'll be able to get to the game, and now you 
just gotten it very early on in the game. Now at this point I haven't completed the game of course but this is a bow that far superior than any other bows that I had come across in the game up to that point so it's definitely worthwhile if you want to stick to the archer class or have your pawn become an archer getting this quest line done so you can have this bow very early. At this point you've technically finished the quest line but if you really want to become a master archer make your way back to the sacred arbor the elven town and make your way to the arborist's home where you will find Glenver's father once again have another quick short conversation with him as he's walking by anytime you can get a conversation with him after you've completed this quest he will then give you a scroll of archer mastery which is actually going to be called hunter secret as you can see on the screen here but it's a very good attack that you can use called the heavenly shot this heavenly shot is essentially a very targeted very powerful single shot that takes up all of the stamina in your stamina bar but it knocks enemies so far away and with such a tremendous force it could sometimes one shot kill a little bit tougher enemies but overall that is how you can complete the quest line with glendweir and unlock the elven mastery or essentially the archer mastery personally i'm a very big fan of the archer class after i played it for several hours it's a lot of fun very agile very powerful if you use it correctly and at the same time this quest line gets you to the elven town which is really useful for other different classes as well when you go and look at all the different shops but in the end i hope you guys did find this helpful if you did make sure to hit the like and subscribe buttons let me know how you're gonna best use all this new information that you got the bow the heavenly shot let me know down in the comments how you're best going to use it once again i hope you guys did find this helpful make sure to hit the like and subscribe buttons for future videos around dragon's dogma 2 and i will catch you in the next video